today's activity called Balloon Tennis Game. It's a great game, full of fun, and it's really good to develop strong hand-eye coordination. So let's start. You need a balloon, then you need a racket. You can use a light wooden spoon from the kitchen. Or you can use a piece of plastic in the shape of a tube and wrap the top with some tape. Here's some key points to help you with the game. Make sure you hold the light spoon tight. Make sure your eyes are looking at the balloon. But at the same time, take a quick look at the surrounding area. Again, as the balloon is falling down, eyes on the balloon and gently hit the balloon with the light spoon. The aim of the game is to keep the balloon in the air as long as you can. It's recommended to give the kid small achievable goals to start. If they manage to hit the balloon five times before it drops on the floor, make sure they celebrate and then gradually increase it to 10 times and 20 times. If you want to make the game a little bit harder, ask the kid to switch hands every time they hit the balloon. It is recommended to start without the balloon first to help the kid build confidence and strong hand movements. And always celebrate to keep the kids motivated. Here's some key points to help you with the game. To start, make sure the two players are standing closer to each other. So maintain short distance between the two players to help the kid build confidence. Have a quick look at the surrounding area before you hit the balloon to avoid any obstacles. Then make sure your eyes on the balloon and gently hit the balloon. It's recommended to count every time you successfully hit the balloon. The aim of the game is to hit the balloon to each other five times. If the balloon touches the floor, the game reset. Each time a player manages to hit the balloon to the other player, they get a point. And make sure you always celebrate so you can build a positive environment so the kid stays engaged while having fun. You will be playing against each other so you need to divide the area into two. One area could be for the parent and one area for the kid. You can use soft toys to make a line in the middle. Next you need musical chair music. You can find it on YouTube. Here's some key points to help you with the game. Same key points from level 1 and 2 can be applied here. To hit the balloon harder Make sure your eyes on the balloon, take a quick look at the surrounding area, then swing your arm back, take a big step forward and swing your arm forward in order to hit the balloon harder. And remember, when you're hitting the balloon, make sure your eyes are on the target. It's time to start the game now. First thing you need to do is to play the music. Then, both the parent and the kid Using their rackets, they attempt to hit the balloon to each other in the air. If the balloon hits the floor, it doesn't matter. The aim of the game is to hit the balloon to the other player's side before the music stops. So if the music stops and the balloon on the parent's side, the kids get a point. The first player that gets 5 points wins. In this part, you can watch how the game can be played. It's full of fun. <laughs> oh, good job, you're fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it touch the ground button. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I will see you again soon.